Numbers than you. But I want to go out. You've got loads of things to play with here. Oh, have I? I better get some toys out to play with then. Get my collection of beautiful shapes out. <laughs> You're making a terrible mess. Oh, sorry. Just getting a few things out. Maybe I'll get the boing ball out. Oh no! Calm that ball down. Sorry, that's out of my control. Three, you've got to tidy things up. Well, I will if we've got a call. Come on! Someone spotted a problem. I'll go out and sort it. Agent Seventy here. Things are going wrong, but not for long. Tell us all about it. A girl is having trouble with her pencil case. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Tell us more. Look what happens when she puts them in her pencil case. They keep popping out. The pen's like being outside. I know how they feel. Shh. Thanks, Agent Seventy. We'll send someone out to have a look. Thanks. Send me out. Send me out. Well, maybe you can go out. Really? With me. Hmm. <sighs> And tidy up all the mess when you get back. Of course I will. Well, whoever is going, get going. I'm going. Yes. Hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Just for once, it's five and three. <laughs> You don't have to come, you know. Oh yes, I do. I can do it. Just watch me. At least we'll get a bit of peace. Checking it all clear for launching. All clear. Ready? Go! Finding a three and a five to land on. Got some threes and fives. Can you get them both together? I'm looking. Found a thirty-five. That's convenient. Come on then. I'm out. I'm out and about. Ah! Come on, three. Can they see me back at base? Yes. I'm out and about. We've got a job to do. This is so exciting. Don't worry. We'll soon get 
this sorted. Well, I'd better investigate. Careful, three. I am not afraid. Watch this. Oh! You did say that you liked being outside. But I want to choose when. I think I can safely say there is something funny going on here. Another agent ringing in. Agent 94 here. There's something going on here. Look. Hi. Oh, that's very rude. I don't think he meant to do it. Three, five, you better get over there. He's going to get into trouble. It's getting worse. Embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe there's a link between them all. What's the same about all of these problems? They're all things that have popped out. The things should be in, but they're out. Things you want inside are outside. So we know what the problem is. But we don't know what caused it. I'm sure we'll find out. Well, we've certainly found something. I'm the puzzler. Look at me. You might learn from what you see. We're looking. Get ready for a strange surprise. Watch my mouth and nose and eyes. Everything in its right place inside the circle of my face. Now, this is a strange thing to do. But maybe, somehow, it's a clue. It's a bit of a hard clue. Here's where things were found before. But now, I've moved them. That's for sure! See you later. The puzzler has made things on his face go outside. And that's making everything else go outside instead of inside. Like the man and his car. He's trying to get in his car. Oh no! He wants to get inside and go home, but he keeps popping out. We got to help this man. And if we don't sort this problem, anything could happen. As well as your tongue. Your teeth might pop out and chase you. And when you're warm and cosy in bed, you might get popped out of bed. And your whole bedroom might be popped outside. Let's sort this problem out. Oh, no, you can't. It's a puzzle bubble! What do we know about the puzzler and bubbles? I'm searching for info on the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twisty mind. His bubbles be trouble if you get trapped inside. You better stop thinking if the puzzler has caught you. Cause if you can sort the puzzle out, the puzzle will sort you. Three and five are trapped inside the puzzle bubble. Who did this? Well, who did this? Now let me see. Oh, I remember. It was me! And now, my friends, you are in trouble. You're trapped inside my puzzle bubble. We're not scared of you, puzzle bubble. Aren't we? 
Tell us your puzzle, and we'll soon burst your bubble. I hope your brains are working well. Will you succeed? Well, time will tell. Look at these numbers. You will see we're missing one. What can it be? Work it out and then tell me, or never ever will you go free. Come on, what number goes in the middle? I don't know. What number? What number? Don't panic. We need some help. Agent's ringing in. Look at it carefully. Look at the puzzle one bit at a time. What are the numbers on each line? Don't let the puzzle worry you, but be quick. I have to hurry you. Quick! In in the top line, there's a one, and a two, and a three. And in the bottom line, there's a three, a one, and a two. All the numbers as well. So what's missing in the middle line? I know. Hey, Mr. Puzzler. Yes. Yeah. Um. I know what it's got to be. That number's three. That number's me. Yeah! <laughs> what about the pencil case? That's better. Another of my puzzles is solved. So till next time, I'll say so long. What a very strange person! You can come back now, three and five. All clear for landing. One. Two, three, four, five! Well done, three and five. You sorted the problems out. And the puzzler. Remember for next time. Those pens are a bit silly. <laughs> so was I. Well, that man was very silly. Everything that should be inside was outside. <laughs> Could be a whole new look. Ooh, that puzzler was a bit scary. And we were stuck in a puzzle bubble. But we sorted him out. There was a three missing from the middle line. Not the knob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did the trick. Not everything sorted in this place. Oh no! You said you'd tidy it up. Oh! Outside, back, inside! Hooray! Okay, agents. Keep your eyes open for things that are inside something else. How many different things can you find? Any problems? Call the number jack.